Have you received the spirit of lies since you believed, since you first believed? Has a liar in a church laid hands on you and you received a spirit of lies? Have you become a liar, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of lies? Forty-something thousand denominations who all think that the Holy Spirit's talking to them and it's not. If you read in the Bible, the apostles had power when the Holy Spirit was given. They had power and it was the spirit of truth and they told truth. And whenever uh, Ananias and Sapphira lied to the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, they dropped dead. If this isn't proof to you that the things in the Bible are over, it's simply because you're a liar. And people don't understand what I'm saying whenever I say you're a liar and that you don't tell the truth. They think that it's truth is some kind of doctrine handed down and it's really the simplest thing in the world. If you tell the truth in your life to your spouse, to your friends, to yourself, about yourself, about your flesh, about your desires, about what goes on in your head, if you tell the truth that you're keeping hid from everybody, then you'll come to the truth. Now you've got 2.3, 2.4 billion people claiming to have the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, and they all believe something different, and they all tell lies, and some people, they had their hands were laid on them by a child molester in a church, and they received this Holy Spirit, and they think it tells them the truth now, and then they find out that the guy's a molester, but before that, they were falling down under the power of this preacher and the words coming out of his mouth. But the Holy Spirit was poured out in the last days, and it was a comforter until Christ returned. It was only given while he was away. Jesus Christ returned in 70 AD in that generation. And now you got a bunch of people who had a Bible and a Constantine and a King James and all the other people who furthered the Catholic and Protestant churches. And they all think that they have the Holy Spirit. And now a lot of them speak a lot of gibberish and tongues and got some power over their flesh, they think. Even though their flesh still dies and ends in the same grave as everybody else, but they think their flesh is somehow better than other people's flesh. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, they keep... Well, you have a spirit of lies, and you all blaspheme. See, if the Holy Spirit was here, you guys would all drop dead. But the Holy Spirit's not here. We don't have the Holy Spirit today. It would have power. Jesus' name would have power. You guys would be in agreement. It would be the uh, spirit of truth. But if anybody's blaspheming the Holy Spirit today, then it is you who claim to have the Holy Spirit because you speak lies in its name. You change your doctrine. You say that it told you one thing and then it told you something else and it told you one thing and it told you something else. So let me ask you, have you received the spirit of lies since you believed? Yes, you most likely have. And now you go around lying every single day in the name of the Holy Ghost. It's absolute proof, guys, there would still be power. But you just can't tell the truth in your life. You tell lies on other people. You make up stories. You believe it tells you something. Later on, you change your mind. So if you want to have any type of truth today, then get over the biggest deception in the world. You don't have the spirit of truth. You have the spirit of lies. And you need to reject the Holy Spirit if you want to have any truth. You're too afraid to because the Bible says if you blaspheme and you're like, well, I don't go by the Bible. Yeah, you do. You're afraid to blaspheme the Holy Spirit that you don't even have because the Bible says if you blaspheme, you won't have forgiveness. But that was talking to them. It was saying they wouldn't have forgiveness in that life and they would not have eternal life. It was to those who the Spirit was given, which was to that generation and their children that would live in that generation before Christ returned. It was poured out in the last days, meaning there aren't many days left. Jesus came in the last days to do a short work on the earth and deliver the kingdom back up to God. And now all that's done, but you guys, we are it's longer from the time that Jesus came until now, these last days have been 2,000 years, whenever from Abraham to Christ and through the prophets and the law and everything, from Abraham to Christ was less time. It was less than 2,000 years. And it's just proof that you guys don't have the Holy Spirit. And all you have is lies, lies, lies. If you cannot reject the Holy Spirit, you're not going to make it to heaven. You're a liar. You're not allowed to be a liar. you got to start telling the truth. 
How do these words not make sense to you? You claim to have the Holy Spirit and you tell lies. You know, I've had a lot of different preachers throughout their days claim to have the Holy Spirit and tell lies on me straight in front of the church and in videos and stuff. It's my life. I know what's happened in my life, but you say that the Holy Spirit told you and that you're talking from God and it's lies. It's not the Holy Spirit. And if you can't be trusted in something as small as that, you definitely can't be trusted in doctrine. So I tell you that you don't have the Holy Spirit, and I say I don't have the Holy Spirit, and I say fuck the Holy Spirit that you think you have, and I say it's an evil spirit and a lying spirit, and you say that I'm the one blaspheming. But no, you're the one blaspheming. Because you say you have it when you don't, and you speak evil words and lies while you're saying that you have the Spirit of Truth. Reject the Holy Spirit or you won't make it to heaven.